What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Son of a Tech, and I have another mashup versus mode for you guys between the Sapphire RX 474GB and the GTX 1060 3GB. And the game is going to be none other than Battlefield 1. Stick around. In case you have been living under a rock, Battlefield 1 is released this week and we needed to see how it performs. We've been putting these two cards head to head and they've been trading blows quite frequently. We've tested them out in not only the Forza Horizon 3 but also Gears of War 4 and you guys can check those out as well. So we needed to see if we could do this with Battlefield 1 and we have. So first of all, there's no built-in benchmark so we needed to find a section that we could repeat at least semi easily the beginning or opening sequence of the game doesn't provide that because of everything that's kind of going on and all the deaths where the benchmark is run is going to be in the first chapter which is mud and blood it's gonna be at the very beginning when you get into the tank so it is in the tank it's not on foot and you go from the very like start and you drive down the path and you go up until you get to the bridge most of the time the bridge will blow up if it doesn't rerun the benchmark and make sure that the bridge blows up because that's an important feature after the bridge blows up there's going to be a turret on the left and a turret on the middle right and i shoot at both of those with the cannon and blow them up and that's the end of the benchmark it lasts about 60 seconds and to capture the info we use an application called present mon which will capture all the directx 12 stuff the reason we aren't using fraps is because it doesn't capture directx 12 and i feel that directx 12 is the most relevant api currently to be testing with the test system we're running on is an i7 3770 K made it to an Asus Z77 Pro Thunderbolt motherboard along with 16 gigabytes of G-Skill 1600 megahertz RAM and that is all running on a PNY 500 gigabyte solid state drive and the power is all coming from a Corsair AX860i which has about 92% efficiency. That's all well and good, you might say. Where are the numbers, Blind Run? Well, let's check that out. We'll throw the chart up right now. And you'll see that I ran the tests in 1080p Ultra with no HBAO. And we're going to get started with the RX 470. You'll see that the min frame rates are 56.3, while the average is 91.4, and the max is 145.6. While on the EVGA GTX 1063 GB side, we see a min of 71. An average of 93.8 and a max of 129.1. So in Gears of War 4, we saw the EVGA GTX 1060 come out with a slight win, albeit by not that much. And then actually in Forza Horizon 3, we saw a huge win on the RX 474 gigabyte. Now I think we see a huge win for the EVGA GTX 1063 gigabyte in Battlefield 1. This means that I probably do need to go ahead and get my hands on a 4 gigabyte 480 for fair fair testing. I still think these cards are in the same price range, but just, you know, for y'all. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And if you're interested in any sort of reviews for either one of these cards, I have individual reviews and individual benchmarks that I will leave up here. And until next time, I will see you next Tuesday.